Hello students. Um, we are going to, this is the second part of volume of a rectangular prism. This part is going to be finding the missing dimension of a prism. Okay, so finding the missing dimension of a prism. Okay, first I will make my prism. There we go, there's my prism. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna label all of my information that I have, my sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and label this four meters here. This will be six meters. And the missing dimension will be my height. I do not have a height. So this is considered a base and this is considered a base or this can be considered a length and a width. Okay, so I'm going to write my regular formula right here. Volume equals and I'm going to use LWH. So L W H. All right, L times length times width times height. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, one thing that I do know, I, I do have, is I have my volume because I am looking for a missing dimension. So my total volume is volume equals 84 meters cubed. So that's the volume, I already have it. This right here is considered my length, this is my width, or they could both be bases, but we're using LW, so it's my length, my width, and the height is what we're looking for. Okay, so let's go ahead, plug in everything. Volume is 84 my length, is six times my width, which is four. But we do not know what the height is. That's what we're looking for. Okay, there we go. Length times width times height. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna multiply these two right here, 84 equals, six times four is 24. And we're gonna make it H. We don't know what H is, but we're gonna go ahead and bring it down here. Okay, so now it's, the same as we've done before is we were going to go ahead and divide 24 into each side. Okay, and we know that this cross cancels that. We bring this H down. Okay. And 24, I'm going to use my calculator. 24 
divide it into 84. Let's put this right here. There we go. 84 divided by 24 equals 3.5. So we're safe to say that my height is 3.5. Now we're going to go ahead and check our work. And I'm going to go ahead and do it down here. Check. And remember I was mentioning that to check it, all you do is rewrite this problem and plug in what the height is. We just plug that one in here. So we have volume equals length times width times All right, let's go ahead and just plug in the numbers. Volume equals, my length is six. My width is four. And because I'm checking, my height is 3.5. Go ahead and use my calculator here. Six times four times 3.5 equals 84. Volume equals 84 meters cubed. This is the same answer as this. So we've checked our work. We do know that 3.5 is correct. That is how you find the missing dimension of a rectangular prism.